So Principal Lee, the well-respected principal of Lawnside High School, had grown tired of Brayton's bullying. Brayton was a freshman who had managed to frighten nearly all the teachers in the school with his intimidating behavior. The teachers had been trying to ignore him and just move on. But Principal Lee knew this was not enough. He called an emergency faculty meeting and declared that it was time for them to stop being afraid of Brayton and stand up to him once and for all. The teachers were hesitant, unsure if they had the courage to confront a student who was so much bigger than they were. To encourage them, he humorously noted that he himself wasn't scared of anyone or anything. Even the biggest bully couldn't get the better of him. But the laughter soon stopped when Brayton stepped into the meeting. I know y'all ain't having a meeting without me. Uh, Brayton, now listen, it's time for us to have a little conversation. Oh, oh, who said you could speak? No one. Everyone on their knees. Oh, Whatever. No. Brayton. No. Yes. No. Break the no. oh. Principal Lee knew he had to do something about the school bully. So as I got out of my car, I got a text from Principal Lee. He said, Today is the day we put an end to Brayton's bullying. I shook my head because I knew whatever he was planning was a bad idea. Where you think you going, Mr. Sanka? Brayton came out of nowhere. I didn't know what to say. Why are you looking so nervous? Hmm? Give me that. Huh? Brayton took my phone and read Principal Lee's text messages. <laughs> Principal Lee's a fool if he thinks this plan is going to work. You better not tell him that I know. I observed Principal Lee concealing a camera and waiting for Brayton. His plan was to record Brayton doing something bad so he could finally have enough proof to expel him. What he didn't know is that Brayton already knew about the hidden camera and stopped the recording. Why are you guys? Here he comes. You need to stay awake doing my calls. <laughs> you better stop scaring my students. <laughs> you need to uh, just make it quick. <laughs> you want some too, Mr. Sanka? I yelled no. And Brayton walked away. Principal Lee went to the camera and was confused when he saw it wasn't recording. I stopped the recording. <laughs> Principal Lee then realized that the only way to stop Brayton was by coming up with a better plan. At Lawnside High School, Principal Lee was getting frustrated. No matter what he tried, the teachers at the school were still struggling to deal with Brayton, the school bully. The main reason we were all scared is because Brayton scared him too. And he was the principal. Principal Lee was at his wit's end. He had spoken to Brayton's parents multiple times, as well as held numerous meetings with the student himself to get through to him. Yet every attempt he made seemed ineffective. Brayton would show up late or not at all and generally be uncooperative when he did. He refused to take any responsibility for his behavior and often lashed out at anyone who tried to help him. So one day, Principal Lee brought in a tough professional counselor known to get through to any student. So do you really think you can get through to him? Listen here, Mr. Principal Lee. I was the captain of the army for 45 years and had made grown men cry out for their mommies. Oh. After I'm done with Mr. Brayton, he won't dare smack another soul in his school. Believe it. The counselor walked in the room. Listen here, Mr. Brayton. I heard you like to smack people. but try to smack me? Ooh. Principal Lee knew he needed a better plan. So one day, Principal Lee went to Brayton's classroom to see how he was behaving that day. He looked around the room, didn't see him, and asked where he was. I said he was absent, and Principal Lee ran out of the room. Good morning, Lawnside High. I want y'all to close your books, take off your thinking caps, and meet me in the auditorium, because we're having no Brayton Day. No Brayton Day was a blast. There was food, there was music, and best of all, there was no Brayton. Attention, everyone. I know we are all having a great time. Sheesh, today is probably the first day I have got smacked by Brayton. Who you think you're talking to? Oh, don't hurt me, Brayton. <laughs> Listen up, students. Today, we recognize that every student should be treated with respect and kindness. Today, we have the power to assure Brayton is no longer a bully by smacking him in the face every time we see him. Then go ahead and smack me. Everyone gasped. Brayton, I, I thought you were absent. No, I was just late. But what did you say? Uh, I said, uh, I said, oh. Principal Lee knew he had to come up with a better plan. 